Hello students! Nagbabalik ang inyong teacher na makulit para ipagpatuloy ang ating discussion for lesson 3 of chapter 1, Psychological Perspective of the Self. Bago tayo magsimula ng discussion, I would like to apologize for my voice. Parang sumusuko na ata. Hindi na kinakaya ang mga video discussions natin. Pero sabi nga nila, the show must go on. Lakas maka arti alam artista. Anyway, um, before we proceed with our last psychologist, gawin muna natin yung inyong activity tree. Okay? Um, look at page 53 of your UTS module and yung activity tree natin. You through others' eyes. <laughs> um, Dito, gusto natin malaman, paano ko ba piniperceive ng mga tao around you? Your friends, your family, probably your classmates, na hindi mo pa namimit. Okay, kasi naka, ano tayo, uh, distance learning, modular, ano pa ba, online, whatever we want to call it. Okay, so this activity has two parts. We want to try, or we want to compare how we look at ourselves Ano ba yung tingin natin sa sarili natin? At ano ba yung tingin sa atin ng mga taong nakapaligid sa atin? Okay, paano ba natin pinapresent ang sarili natin? At kung paano ba uh, tayo nakikita ng ibang tao? Okay, so yung first part ng activity natin, I want you to list 10 qualities or things that you think define who you are. Sino ka ba? Ano yung mga qualities na meron ka? So, gusto ko isipin mo yung top 10 qualities na nagde-describe sa sarili mo. So, just list them down. Okay? And then, we will proceed with the next part. For the second part of our activity, I want you to ask your friends or family na i-describe ka. Okay? Sabihin mo, uh, magbigay sila ng 2 to 3 words na tingin nila nagde-describe sa'yo. Normally kasi, kung normal face-to-face -face class tayo, what I would uh, ask you to do is to go around and ask your classmates to describe you. But since, ito na nga, I want you to ask your family members and your friends to do it. Tapos, isulat nyo sa isang papel. Okay, ilagay nyo, I am your name, and then, who do you think I am based on what you see me do or hear, hear me say? Okay. If you can, pwede nyo ring i-print yung module, yung uh, page 53 ng module, and then pasulatan mo sa kanila. O mama, describe mo daw ako. Sabihin sa'yo na, no, mama mo, tamad. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Let's see kung paano kanila i-describe. Okay? After mong pasagutan, yung activity 3, okay, so nasagutan mo na how you describe yourself, tanong mo na rin yung mga tao sa paligid mo, pati pala tambay, dinamay mo, no? It's up to you. Yung mga tao sa paligid mo, kung paano ka ito describe, punta naman tayo sa assessment and application natin, okay? Page 54 of our module. Ang target natin dito is to compare yung sinulat mo at yung sinulat nila. Ano yung pareho? Ano yung magka magkaiba? Okay? Then, after comparing yung sagot mo at sagot nila, answer the following questions. Una, what do you feel about what your classmates or your friends and family wrote about you? Meron bang mga shocking description na parang, talaga ba? <laughs> Ako ba talaga to? Ah, ganyan. No? Ganyang ganapan. Okay? Um, after that, uh, uh, question number two, I'm sorry. What aspects are similar and which are not? So, ayun nga, yung sabi ko kanina. Ano yung pareho? Pareho yung sinabi mo sa sinabi nila. Next question, what aspects are always true or circumstantial? Alin yung laging totoo? Pwede rin kasing may mga characteristics, characteristics kasi tayo na Circumstantial. Ibig sabihin, lumalabas lang siya in certain situations. Sabi niya, mataray ka. Pero alam mo, mataray ka lang pagka 
nakakabwisit yung kausap mo. O kaya sabi nila, mainipin ka. Pero alam mo, certain situations lang yung nangyayari, hindi ka laging mainipin. Okay? Yung ganon. And lastly, ang sabi dito, what aspects do you think are not real, are not really of your personality? Alin doon yung totally you disagree? Hindi ako to. Sabi sa'yo, um, ano yan, mabait yan. Pero feeling mo hindi ka yun. Okay? Psychologist is Carl Jung. To be honest, for two years now, I've always thought it's read as Carl Jung. Pero it's Carl Jung, apparently. So, Carl Jung. Naniniwala siya that everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. O diba, very profound. Yung mga bagay na we find irritating sa ibang tao can actually lead us to understand ourselves. Okay, he believed that the self is the central archetype of our personality. Ano yung archetype? Archetypes are universal inborn models of people, behavior, or personalities that play a role in influencing human behavior. At si Carl Jung, he was able to identify five major archetypes of personality. Ano-ano ba yung five personality archetypes ni Carl Jung? Una, we have persona. Ano ba yung persona? Ito yung public personality natin. Ito yung paano natin ipakita or ipakilala yung sarili natin to the world. Yung persona, galing siya sa Latin word, which literally translates to mask. Kasi ito yung sinusuot natin, ito yung pinapakita natin sa mundo. Persona represents all the different social masks that we wear among various groups and situation. Okay, pagkisama ko mga kaibigan ko, gantong maskara yung suot ko. Yung jolly person na ako. Okay? Pag naman kasama ko yung, for example, yung mga serious friends mo, seryosong tao ka din. So, that's the mask you wear. So, in different set of situations, with different set of people, we wear different set of masks. The second personality archetype is the shadow. The shadow is our dark side or part of ourself that we dislike. Kasama dito yung sex and other life instincts. Okay? Yung mga bagay na gusto natin gawin, pero alam natin na hindi pwede. Alam natin na bawal. Kasama dito yung mga bagay na unacceptable for the society at para na rin sa ating sarili. Ano yung mga halimbawa na ito? Halimbawa, you want to cheat, pero alam mo na mali yun. That's part of our shadow. Those are the things we don't want and we don't like about ourselves. The third one we have is anima. Anima is the female archetype or basically the feminine image in the male psyche. Siyempre, if we have feminine archetype, meron din tayong male archetype. And this is what we call animus. Ano yung animus? This is our male archetype or the male image in the female psyche. According to Carl Jung, anima and animus represent the true self rather than the image we present to others. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kasi diba, kumpara natin sa persona, kung saan yun yung social image natin, yun yung gusto natin ipakita, yun namang shadow natin, yun yung dark side natin, ayaw natin ipakita. Ito naman, yung animus and anima, ito yung true self natin. Since we are talking about self, self is actually the last of the five personality archetype. At yung self is the central archetype of personality. It represents the wholeness. Okay, pinagsama-sama nung apat. Aside from the five major personality archetype, Carl Jung also identified, identified seven more personality archetype. Ano yung mga yun? We have the father, the mother, the child, the wise old man, the hero, the maiden, and the trickster. Ano-ano sila? Yung father, ito yung authoritative figure. Okay, ito yung powerful, according to them, figure. The mother naman, on the other hand, is the nurturing or comforting archetype. The child is longing for innocence. The wise old man is guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. Hero is about champion, defender, rescuer. Maiden is about innocence. And the trickster is about deceiving, the liar, and the troublemaker. 
to review, makikita nyo dyan sa image yung different personality archetype. So, we have the persona, yung nasa may lower right, kung saan may mga mask because this is our social personality. Ito yung pinapakita natin sa world. And then, we have the shadow, which is our dark personality, yung mga bagay na ayaw natin about ourselves or negative things about ourselves, negative behavior. And then we have the anima and animus, which is feminine and male uh, archetypes, respectively. And of course, we have the self, which represents the wholeness. That's the end of our discussion. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Bye class!